Donnie McClurkin, an iconic figure in gospel music, has had a career marked by immense talent, unwavering faith, and significant personal and professional challenges. From his early life struggles to his rise as a leading gospel artist, McClurkin's journey is a testament to resilience and the transformative power of music and faith. This comprehensive biography delves into Donnie McClurkin's early life, family background, career milestones, collaborations with other artists, and the personal tragedies that have shaped his life. Donnie McClurkin, an iconic figure in gospel music, has had a career marked by immense talent, unwavering faith, and significant personal and professional challenges. From his early life struggles to his rise as a leading gospel artist, McClurkin's journey is a testament to resilience and the transformative power of music and faith. This comprehensive biography delves into Donnie McClurkin's early life, family background, career milestones, collaborations with other artists, and the personal tragedies that have shaped his life. At the age of eight, Donnie faced the first of many personal tragedies when his two-year-old brother was hit and killed by a speeding driver. This devastating loss had a lasting effect on Donnie and his family. In the midst of their grief, his family found solace in the church, where Donnie's love for music began to blossom. The church became a sanctuary for him, providing a sense of stability and community amidst the chaos at home. Donnie McClurkin's early years were further marred by sexual abuse. He has openly shared his experiences of being molested by an uncle at the age of eight and then later by his cousin. These traumatic events led to a period of confusion and deep emotional pain. Struggling to cope with his trauma, Donnie found solace in the church, where he immersed himself in music and ministry. The trauma of his early abuse and the complexities of his family life led Donnie to struggle with his identity and faith. He has spoken candidly about his battles with his sexuality and the immense guilt and shame he felt. His journey to reconcile his faith with his personal experiences has been a central theme in his life and ministry. Donnie McClurkin has never married, but he is the father of two children, a son named Matthew and a daughter named Michelle. His relationships have often been the subject of public interest, particularly his engagement to gospel singer Nicole C. Mullen in 2016. Although the engagement was called off, both McClurkin and Mullen have remained respectful of each other, and their relationship highlighted McClurkin's ongoing search for personal and emotional fulfillment. Vin 1996, Donnie McClurkin released his self-titled debut album, which became a major success. The album featured hits like Stand and Speak to My Heart, which resonated deeply with listeners and showcased McClurkin's ability to convey profound spiritual messages through music. The album's success catapulted him to national fame and established him as a leading voice in gospel music. Following the success of his debut album, Donnie McClurkin released several more albums that cemented his status as a gospel music icon. Albums such as Live in London and More, 2000, Psalms, Hymns, and Spiritual Songs, 2004, and We All Are One, Live in Detroit, 2009, received critical acclaim and earned him numerous awards, including Grammy Awards, Dove Awards, and Stellar Awards. His music, characterized by its powerful messages of hope, redemption, and faith, has touched the lives of millions around the world. Throughout his career, Donnie McClurkin has collaborated with numerous renowned artists in the gospel and secular music worlds. He has worked with artists such as Kirk Franklin, Yolanda Adams, Marvin Sapp, and Cece Winans. These collaborations have not only broadened his musical influence, but have also brought gospel music to a wider audience. One of his most notable collaborations was with Kirk Franklin, Yolanda Adams, and the late Whitney Houston on the song Hold On, Help Is On The Way. This powerful track brought together some of the biggest names in gospel music and showcased McClurkin's ability to blend his voice seamlessly with other artists. In 2011, Donnie McClurkin faced a significant health scare when he was diagnosed with leukemia. 
The diagnosis was a devastating blow, but McClurkin approached his illness with the same faith and determination that had characterized his career. He underwent treatment and, through the support of his faith community and fans, was able to go into remission. This experience deepened his faith and gave him a renewed sense of purpose Donnie in his McClurkin ministry and struggles music. with his sexuality have been a prominent and often controversial aspect of his life. In his autobiography and various interviews, McClurkin has spoken about his internal battle with same-sex attraction, which he attributes to the abuse he suffered as a child. Raised in a religious environment that viewed homosexuality as a sin, McClurkin faced immense guilt and conflict. For years, he sought to reconcile his faith with his feelings, a journey that led him to embrace celibacy. McClurkin has been vocal about his belief in the possibility of changing sexual orientation through religious faith, a stance that has sparked significant controversy and criticism particularly from LGBTQ plus advocates. His views have placed him at the center of debates about the intersection of faith, sexuality, and human rights. Nicole C. Mullen In 2016, Donnie McClurkin's personal life came into the spotlight with his engagement to fellow gospel singer Nicole C. Mullen. The relationship was celebrated by many in the gospel community as both McClurkin and Mullen are well-respected figures in the industry. Their engagement was announced on TBN's Praise the Lord show, surprising fans and media alike. However, the engagement was called off, and the reasons behind their decision remain private. McClurkin and Mullen have both spoken about their mutual respect and continued friendship, but the end of their engagement was a significant personal setback for McClurkin, who has often expressed his desire for a stable, loving relationship. While McClurkin has generally kept his romantic life private, he has hinted at past relationships that ended in heartbreak. His focus on his career and ministry, coupled with his personal struggles, has made it challenging for him to maintain long-term, romantic relationships. McClurkin's openness about his celibacy and his views on sexuality have also influenced his approach to relationships, often putting him at odds with modern societal norms. Donnie McClurkin's views on homosexuality have been the source of significant controversy. His outspoken stance on the subject, particularly his belief in conversion therapy and the possibility of changing sexual orientation through religious faith, has drawn sharp criticism from LGBTQ communities and human rights organizations. McClurkin's statements have been seen by many as harmful and promoting a narrative that can lead to psychological distress and societal division. In 2013, McClurkin was scheduled to perform at a Washington, D.C. event commemorating the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington. However, he was disinvited due to his views on homosexuality, which the event organizers felt were not in line with the spirit of inclusion and civil rights being celebrated. This incident highlighted the contentious nature of his views and their impact on his public engagements. Like many high-profile individuals, McClurkin has faced legal and financial challenges. There have been instances where he has been involved in legal disputes, particularly related to his business dealings and management of his ministry. These issues, while not always publicized, have added to the pressures he faces as a public figure and a leader within the gospel community. Despite the numerous challenges and controversies, Donnie McClurkin's resilience and faith have been central to his ability to overcome adversity. His music and ministry are deeply rooted in his personal experiences of suffering and redemption. Songs like Stand and We Fall Down resonate with listeners because they speak to the universal human experience of struggle and the hope of recovery and redemption through faith. McClurkin's transparency about his struggles has also been a source of inspiration for many. By sharing his journey, he has provided a sense of solidarity and hope to others facing similar challenges. His ability to turn personal pain into a powerful message of faith and resilience is a testament to his strength and character. In recent years, Donnie McClurkin has also focused on mentorship and advocacy. 
He has used his platform to speak out on issues of mental health, sexual abuse, and the importance of faith in overcoming personal struggles. His role as a pastor at Perfecting Faith Church in Freeport, New York, allows him to guide and support his congregation through their own challenges. McClurkin's radio show, The Donnie McClurkin Show, further extends his reach, allowing him to connect with a global audience. Through his music, ministry, and public speaking, McClurkin continues to inspire and uplift, embodying the message of hope and perseverance that has defined his career.